And hello everyone! Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with Zen. Hello. And we are back on that Yu-Gi-Oh! grind. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, you missed the amazing duel in Episode 2 against our rival Jillian. It took way too long. Took forever. And now we're gonna go see if we can find some cards to buy. To make things easier for us. Now here's the question, where the fuck are the shop? There's the store. So what kind of deck do you think we should uh, be focusing on here? Oh, whoa, look, it's that guy. It's Tarzan. Beef McMahon Muscle. Oh, his name's Damon. Drawing is good. Hello. Who's this? New face. Dorothy. I remember Dorothy being a... No, I don't want to buy a sandwich right now. What was I saying? What were we talking about Zen before I got completely distracted? Uh, I don't know. I also got distracted when you got distracted. Fair enough. We're gonna say hello to these people and hello, Sadie. You can actually be friends with Sadie, I think, in Tag Force. I would like cards. We need to build a new deck. All right, and we can buy ten packs. All right. What, what do we want to buy from? Do we want first monster? This pack has normal monsters. First spell. This has basic spell and trap cards. First effect monster. This is an effect monster pack. Step up spell. This is... You can totally use this pack spell and traps. That does not <laughs> help us. This pack has fire attribute cards. It's on fire. Want to gather dark attribute cards and this is for you. Why is Don Zalug the cover of the dark... Because Don's a Luke, man. Do you not remember the reign of Don's a Luke in Yu-Gi-Oh? How? Well, I just, but like, why is he the cover? Again? Well, okay. In in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Don's a Luke is a character. Yes. And he sounds like Christopher Walken. <laughs> I don't remember that part. You don't remember that? No, dude. I'm... He sounds exactly like Christopher Walken. So he talks. Like this? No, like, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm I'm interrupting the episode. Uh, Alright, go, go find a clip of him. And... As I look at these packs. Ah, what do you mean these packs are fucking sold out? Yeah, there you go. That's All some right. good shit right there. Now people are going to be able to hear Don's Luke's voice. Let's hear it. Come on. Come on, internet. Don't be shit. There we go. It's going. It lets me draw two more cards from my deck. Holy shit. Uh, just what I wanted. The one and only Don Zaluk! What? Oh, man. one and only, I really mean it. Because, my children, I am him. <laughs> Yo, it's me! Don Zaluk! I play me in attack mode. That seems like a good way I for Don Zaluk. I play myself in attack mode. <laughs> that seems like a good way for Don Zaluk to get fucking trounced. Because I always target in on Don Zaluk whenever I see him. Man, I forgot how good. I forgot how good uh, all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! D dub is in general. I love those voices. We need to figure out which packs to buy Zen. We need to figure this out uh... now. I think effect monsters would probably be good, but there's probably some well, decent... Well, the thing with effect monsters is, like, it could just be jack-fuck-anything. I mean, the game... Gave us a bunch of fucking water shit. It's true. I guess let's do effect monsters or traps, one of the two. Let's go with effect monsters. Karibo yeah. pack. Oh, this is the actual authentic experience I'm looking for, Zen. Opening plastic wrap booster packs. Hell yeah. Let me see. Let me feel the luck it, in these packs, yeah, Zen. Let me, let me wait. Let me wait each pack. <laughs> let me quickly weigh the packs. It, it, this is the ultimate sign of, man, I remember these days when I would actually go like, hey, can I see the packs? Let me feel them in my hands real quick. It's like, uh, yeah, I wanna sure. Feel the, I want to feel the, the feel of each one. I want to <laughs> yeah. squeeze them a little. 
buy two of these. All right, and then some trap. Oh, let me see, I think eh, somewhere around here would be good. And just to see what kind of normal monsters we got. I think that's fair for right now. We need to get the basics. I don't really want to build a fire deck right now. And we might get Swords of Revealing Light and that would just straight up replace our other cards. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, this is the good shit. Big insect. A yeah, big insect. Oh, we got Saki. Wolf. Oh my god, I saw Wolf and I thought it was fucking Blue Eyes for a second. Oh, that I was like, good. no fucking way. We got Impachi though. Blocker, Grand Tiki Elder, Kappa Avenger again, Jellyfish again. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. That was the worst pack in the history of the world. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Cards we already have. Curse of Aging. That is in fact not a spell card. Not a spell card. Ancient Telescope. Oh, Cold Wave. It's not bad. Not good. No, but 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 in this era, Cold Wave was actually kind of effective. Simultaneous loss, chosen one. Hey! Really like? Let's Hell go! yeah! Let's go! I'm gonna title yeah! this like a summoning video. Swords of Revealing Light? <laughs> Let's Get? fucking go, Swords of Revealing Light. That's a PSA 10. Oh, total defense, Shogun. Gear Freed. Uh, we got some good shit now, Zen. Uh, Arsenal Bug. Not the greatest, but I like him. Another total defense, Shogun. Dark Sage, Jesus Christ. Seminal. Cat's Ear Tribe. I totally used to run that card. I don't remember why, but I did. I think I misremembered its effect. <laughs> Spiritualism. Wow, Dark Mirror Force. If only we had defensive monsters. <laughs> Mention. Ooh, Constription would be fun. Remember in Duel Links when everyone just used Constription? Oh, Soul Resurrection. Huh. All right, let's see what Soul Resurrection. I forget what it does. Is it like bringing back a monster? I think, uh, yeah, it's one like normal monster, monster reborn, but for a normal monster. That's not bad. We could totally use that. Select one monster in your hand and show it to your opponent, then roll a six-sided dice. If the result is one, send the selected monster to the graveyard. If it's two to six, they'll select. Okay. That's not too bad. It's not the greatest, but... You don't like to figure there's no cards in your graveyard. We don't have the ability to do that. <laughs> this is a really funny card. I still think Dark Mirror Force is like the shitty form of Mirror Force. Where it's like Mirror Force can save you and potentially win you the game. Dark Mirror Force. Alright, all your defensive monsters that you use during that all-out attack are totally dead. Nah, it doesn't work that way. I mean, it's still, I uh, had God. I, I was trying. I thought it negated the attacks also, but it doesn't. It just it sends doesn't. all the defense. It just destroys the defense mode monsters. That's right. Both you and this monster's attack become two hundred. That's why I used it. So I put an equip card on it. Ceremonial bell. Oh my God! Sense. Ceremonial bell would actually be awesome, at least in this portion of the game. Oh yeah, it would be super. It's then better you can than see what they have. Yeah. There are no face-up insect-type monsters on your side of the field. Oh, that's bad. It's only really good if you're running a full-on insect deck. Gear Freed we can totally use, because we don't run any equip cards that would even matter for him. I never understood how this card worked. I forget, if you attack a monster while you're in defense mode, do you die? If you lose. Like, if you attack an attack position monster and lose, yeah. Crazy. Jirai Gumo. This is the card where you lose half your life points, right? No, that's where you, you flip a coin. Oh, wait. Is it, is it flip a coin and it's destroyed, or flip a coin and if you're wrong, you lose your life? Oh, no, it is, it's right there. If you call it wrong, decrease your life points uh, by half, yeah. So we're totally using him, right? Absolutely. 100%. Okay, glad we're on the with this percent, one. yeah. Of course. <laughs> Felt I should say. Add one gathering in your mind. Fucking, if you want to run a thin out deck. Who's running a thin out deck on a fucking virtual card <laughs> game? <laughs> on a virtual card game against the NPCs. Fucking trying to flex on Is them that Simultaneous way. loss, actually, kind of. Or no, that's ever that's the top card of the deck. Yeah, yeah top card. never mind. Cold Wave can only activate during main phase one. No one can use any spell or trap cards or set them. Again, not the greatest, but it totally works in this environment where <laughs> there's not, like, some amazing cards that can automatically stop everything. 
We do have another Aqua Medora, which is nice. Grand Tiki Elder. Impachi. I keep thinking of Blazing. Impachi's pretty Pachi. good. Yeah, Impachi's not bad. Wolf. Soggy. I mean, I like Soggy as a person. I don't like him as a card. As, as a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Soggy the Dark Clown. Yes. We're gonna have to... Oh shit, I was about to buy more. I only have 3 DP. <laughs> don't be childish, Zen. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I won't say it. <laughs> we'll do a whole DP based episode <laughs> later on when we have more DP. Oh, what's going on? I, I clicked the wrong thing. You didn't see any of that. All right, let's see who we're getting at rid of. We're not getting rid of Bolt Penguin. Absolutely not. Since we're going to have less water monsters in the deck, I think we have to kind of get rid of Salvage. Yeah, plus it's only 1500 or less. It's not that useful. Steel yeah, Shell not... might need to go too. Yeah, it doesn't help that the one time we use Steel Shell, it completely fucked us over. Share the Pain could still come in handy if we had remembered its effect. We just need to use it. Yeah, we just used it wrong. I'm not about to say no to a stim pack. I don't know about your current life situation, Zen, but I would not say no to a stim pack. Yeah, I could take a stim pack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Should we get rid of Umi? Does it matter? Water Dragon um, Fire we're totally getting rid of. Well, so the thing is, with with stuff like Umi, since we still have mostly water monsters, it's more useful when we're not playing a mirror game. I feel like that 25-minute mirror duel really <laughs> uh, yeah. like messed with our understanding of how the, these cards <laughs> should interact. Because we're yeah, like, well, this is fucking useless. And then we're like, no. It's true. We're going to get rid of one Kappa Avenger. One okay. Jellyfish. We might return them to the deck based off of some other things. Flying Penguin 1. Fiend Kraken 1. We're still keeping one because I'm pretty positive we're gonna. We're obviously keeping all forms of Bolt Penguin as long as we can. Okay, I there we go. I remember now. Okay, so let's see Aqua Medora. We could totally use another one of these. Put him in the deck. Let's see Blocker Ceremonial Bell. That will work out great for us. Conscription for the funnies. I'm keeping it in the deck. That's my. It's my ruling on that one. Gear Freed, of course. Hunting Instinct, we don't use any dinosaurs. Impachi would be pretty nice. Jirai Gumo, our boy, going in there. A man, Jirai Gumo. Yeah, he's gonna win us the game, so watch. Declare one card name if your opponent has declared card. Oh, that might actually work with our Ceremonial combo, Bell. Hell, yeah, I was just about to say combo that shit with Ceremonial Bell. It's gonna be great. I don't think we need Spiritualism, but we do need Swords of Revealing Light. I forget, what does Steel Scorpion do? Uh, Steel Scorpion... It takes too long. It's not bad. It's not you bad, but... I mean, it's just Yomi ship. It is just kind of Yomi ship. Maybe, you know what, you convince me. Maybe we'll put one Steel Scorpion. I forgot, against that guy, he totally did not get rid of monsters for an extremely long time. <laughs> yeah, he just let the entire board sit. Arsenal right. bug. If only we had more insect, insect monsters to kind of use. All right, let's see. We've got 16 monsters, 11 effective monsters, nine spells and traps, and six. That should we get rid of two monsters? Do we need two amphibian beasts or just one? I feel like the way the deck oh, is made. It's still 2,400 attack. It's true. I'm gonna, I'll keep them in then. Hmm. I was about to say, do we really need Jellyfish? And then I could not say that in good faith while keeping Kappa Avenger yeah, as much as I like. Yeah, better than Kappa Avenger. Do we need Mother Grizzly? Ah, uh, yeah. I like I like Mother Grizzly. Yeah, yeah it you is can, good. I mean, it's, it's a good defensive card, too. No, you're right, it is. I think we're good for this right now. I think we got a decent yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think this is, this is solid, yeah. All right, now let's see if I can remember how to save. All right. Yes. Now here's the ultimate. Did it save my deck, or am I gonna have to do that all again? Let's see. Yeah, no, it saved. Do we need back to square one now that I look at it? No, it's all right. It's not bad, considering what we're rocking currently. All right, now it's 6 a.m. 
We spent all that time buying cards. Spent 15 minutes buying cards. Should we try and duel one other person? Another shitty Slifer person? Just to see how the deck turns. Absolutely. Run. Absolutely. All right. You. Boy. No time to tell me your name. I ain't scared of you, Nathan. I know you. You're that new kid. Really big hearted, you hear? Well, so, well, welcome aboard. I can't tell if Nathan is scared of us. Why is he scared of us, actually? We Jesus need to. Christ, look at him. Look at okay. how they look versus our, like, drawn character. Yeah, no, for sure. I look like an anime character. They look like they just came off of Roblox. That's what. <laughs> they look like Minecraft. <laughs> I look like Gojo, they look like Minecraft Steve. That's the current situation. What is up with your fucking hair? Also single. <laughs> Not surprised. Oh, this guy's fucking dead, Zen. We just drew the ultimate hand. <laughs> There's no way this guy wins. Yeah, no, this guy- Oh my god, doesn't Gear Freed get pumped up? Oh wait, we can't equip that to Gear Freed, can we? Oh, down! Wait, hold um, on. Who cares? He's got- we got Yomi ship. Oh, that's true. And he's definitely going to attack Yomi ship. What the fuck? The BS yes, Crystal Core. I was not expecting that. Is this guy actually good? Is this... no. Now here's my question to you, Zen. Do we risk the, him attacking the Yomi ship with someone else, or do we just dive right into it? I think we can actually dive into it, right? Yeah. I like, think so. what, we have so much backup, and if he summons another strong thing. Actually, what's stopping us from just winning with Gaga Gigo? Yeah, we can just kill it with Gaga Gigo, right? Oh, no, but it changes its defense position. Never mind. All right. Yeah, gonna do this with so, Yeah, just, just Yomi ship him. Worst case scenario, we just lose. And we lose to Nathan, the apparently savage of the Slifer Red <laughs> team. Because he's, so far, ten times better than the other guy. There we go. Ah! Now you're scared. He's not going to know how to handle this. He did not expect to just completely get washed by PPSS PP1. Let's see what he's got, though. Because now I have a feeling he's, his deck is actually extremely good. You have to be shitting me right now, right? Oh my god, he's doing it again. Like, this is not real life. Oh! Shit! Do you think he has another BES core? Or is, no, this is the top of the deck, right? Yeah. Do we want to try and say that we had that he has another BES core and guess that? We can try. Alright, let's do it. This is gonna be fun. Alright, let's see what we think he has. Jesus Christ, that is every card in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's absolutely every card in the game. There he is. I think it's, what is it, Crystal Core? Crystal Core, Crystal Core, yeah. I'm gonna guess Crystal Core. Is it in there? <gasps> it is! We yes! got him! We got him, boys! <laughs> I love this game! This game is so good, Zed! <laughs> yu gi is so good! Look at his face! Look how disappointed he is. Oh, this guy is so fucking dead. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm gonna summon Gaga Gigo. Man. Oh, we can't. He's not Aqua type? No, he's a reptile. Oh, god damn Aqua it. is a specific type. I thought it was water, but it's not. It's Aqua. We're gonna have to yeah. look into replacing that. <laughs> Find a better spell card. Because that could have uh, really hurt us if we decided to go the other way. So, do, does, do all attacks look that way? Are they all, like, white mist, or is that supposed to be water? Because we're using water monsters. Like, like would huh. he get blasted by fucking fire if we had fire monsters? That's a good question. I want to say it changes, because it changes when you have certain monsters, right? Well, actually, we'll find out pretty soon, I think. I mean, eventually we're going to find we're gonna duel better people, like the main cast characters, and they're going to win out of nowhere. Play, play uh, Gear Freed and kill the monster with Gaga Gigo and then attack with Gear Freed and see if it's still just white gunk or not. Alright, that's a good idea. It'd be funny if this is a 2000 defense monster. 
king of the swamp. This man's trying to fuse. This man's the ultimate tryhard of Slifer Red. You're supposed to suck, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, it yeah, changes. it is different. That's cool. They're doing their best for what the PSP has. Why is this guy even trying anymore? He's gonna lose. He got the ultimate, uh, shit kicked out of him too early. I cannot believe that worked, by the way. I don't want to gear keep Gear Freed around. Can we actually win if we summon Aquamador? I mean, Amphibiabilities? Nah, no, right? I think... Not if you do Amphibian Beast, but yes if you do Aquamador. Or Giant Red Sea Snake. Alright, fine. We don't need to summon our good monsters against him. Oh, wait. Duh. Aha! Hey, 21 big old snake. I wonder what the, if the snake will have the white light. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. We'll give the end to our boy Gaga Gigo. Our second ace monster in this deck. Because of his amazing 50 attack extra. <laughs> I love it when Yu-Gi-Oh does that where it's like... Like Axe Reader at one point was considered extremely good because he had 1700 attack. And it's like the the best out of everyone in a, in a pool of very bad fishes. Fall to the floor. I'm a failure. 705. You know what that means, then? We can totally buy some more packs. Hell yeah, pack opening next round. Let's go. <laughs> one more. We'll keep it to this one because it's still pack opening. All right, you, Sadie. Would you like cards? Yes. I like the option three. What are cards? All right, so what are, what are we feeling here? More spell cards? Still, I still like... Spell cards and effect monsters. Alright, I think we can get a, a clean sweep between them. Even though what I think we got the best- What are you feeling on this? What's, what's the vibes are you getting from this? Hmm, I feel like this one might have something. So I'll get okay. that. You know, this one feels pretty good to it. I'll get this one right here. And I'll go over to effect monsters and I'll get two effects. I like that Karibo is the poster child for effect monsters. Hell yeah. The goat. <laughs> he is the goat. He's amazing. The absolute fucking legend. Let's see, I think we can buy one more pack of spell cards. Let's do it. I think I'm feeling this right here. Alright. Only ATP, but it's fine. Alright, let's go! See what we got. Snake Fang. Duel of the Play Phantom. Final Destiny. Micro Ray. Wobaku. It's not bad. Oh, Wobbuck is pretty good, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see That's what we got one. here. Spell Reproduction, Dark Piercing Light, Microwave again, Seal of the Ancients, Cold Wave. We already have Cold Fucking Cold Wave, cold wave dupe. Fucking yeah, dupe. Know. Fucking dupes. Cold man. Wave doesn't even get crit. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Major Riot. Ooh, Adhesive Trap Hole. That might oh, be good. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Not bad. We were feeling the good vibes on this one. Gather your mind. Pot of generosity. Major riot. Spell reproduction. Light force sword. Good when Yugi uses it, and not good when you use it. Zone eater. Total defense. Kirio. Great phantom thief. Kaiba man. Fuck, now we yeah. need to go. We need to go fishing. Now we need to chase blue eyes. We do need to go chasing blue eyes. I'm glad that we both agree that we need to stop what we're doing and go get a bunch of shitty normal effect monsters so we can get <laughs> blue eyes. Shitty normal monsters. Oh wow, ancient lamp. That's not bad. If I remember right, ancient lamp has like an extremely good effect. When this face down defense position monster is attacked, you can make one opponent's monster, except the attacking monster, be attacked instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's really good. And also, you can summon Lajin if you feel like it. Cockroach Knight. Penguin Knight. Wadan. Kaiba Man. Look at this man. 
This is back in the day when summoning a blue eyes for free from your hand was considered extremely good. Yeah, back when that was like, whoa! Holy shit, and it's not like today where it's like, summon three blue eyes from wherever the fuck you can find them. And just get them. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Adhesive Trample is going to be very good. Mesmeric Control. That's not good. I was hoping it would let us take a monster, but it doesn't. So, Microwave. Definitely Wabaku needs to go in. Yeah, definitely Wabaku does. Alright, let's exit. I have a feeling once they realized we added cards to our deck, they were like, we need to start making everyone better now. Alright, let's go. Deck edit. And this is how we'll end the episode, by adding first Adhesive Trap I think Ancient Lamp will kind of work out. I'll find someone to get rid of for Ancient Lamp. Let's see, where is it? Where is their other Wabaku? Kaiba Man, your time is not now. Your time is eventual. There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, Swords of the Revealing Light is limited to one. I mean, that kind of makes sense. No one wants to play with someone using three Swords of Revealing Light. Yeah, nobody wants to be that guy. No one wants to be that guy. We can get rid of back to square one. Uh, let's see. I don't want to. It's Aqua Monsters that work with um, the equip card, right? Uh, yeah, Aqua type. All right, so I'll keep Aqua types if I see them. I believe that's the water droplet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we can get rid of this guy. And Dying Keto. Perfect. Our deck is that much better now, Zen. Unstoppable. Absolutely Basically. unstoppable. 100%. Well, we can look at the schedule real quick. No, not options. Let's see. We got transfer day one. This is a full thing. You know, people saying uh, uh, Persona's popular for this kind of we stuff. We have a test in two weeks. We have a test in two weeks? You have to study for that test, then. <laughs> We're going to have to study a whole bunch. Second test in the school district. <laughs> I don't know about you, Zen, but we 100% have to be the greatest duelist the day before of Tag Force meet. So I'm going to assume this all ends in August. It does end in August. We have limited time. This is totally like Persona. <laughs> Where we have limited really, time. You have limited time to max out your social links. Exactly. We're going to have to get one of these women to like us. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out a way to do it and stop being single. Or men, depending on how we feel. Yeah, it could go either way. Yeah, exactly. PPSS I mean, The Chaz is here, man. Obviously, oh. guys are on the table. Exactly. If one of them is the Chaz, then obviously you need to go for the Chaz. All right. Is, that, is that the new meta? Are we romancing the Chaz? <laughs> romancing the Chaz, my favorite 1980s movie by... Uh... Fuck, who directed that? <laughs> It's someone that's, like, super well-known. The guy who did Back to the Future, I think, also did Romancing the Stone. And obviously Romancing the Chaz. Romancing the Chaz. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to call it for now, because we've done three 30-minute episodes each. Uh, we will return. We will keep playing this game until it is completed. So strap in, everyone, because I hope you're in for an extremely long journey. This might take more than 30 episodes like uh, Sacred Cards did. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, I'm okay with Fucking that. Fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh, too. Tell me that ceremonial, whatever it was, the Mind Crush play. That shit was big brain. It was pretty big brain. That I, shit was mm, big brain. Gonna cancel all my upcoming gacha videos and just dedicate to Yu-Gi-Oh games. I would but, do that, though, because this is always fun as hell. It is. All right, everyone. This is a goodbye from us. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody.
and we will see you next time it is time for us to get our game on. I also see that Alexis is right there, so that's where we're going next. I don't care if we have a, a school schedule to keep a track of. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.